YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Big Beard B, and we are back for another edition of Big Beard Business. I recently had the opportunity to speak with some subscribers at dinner, and one of the conversations that we had led into the world of dating because they had questions about my marriage and how we got to this point. And what I found out during that conversation is that the dating world has changed drastically. Pre-COVID, things were always awkward when you approached a woman out in public and you had to let her know, hey, I like you. But post-COVID, things have gotten a little bit more tricky. So today, your boy is here to help guide you through that conversation. Now, there are a lot of things that you should do and at least three things that you should not do during that first encounter. You shouldn't make things creepy or awkward or interrogational. You want to make sure that things smooth and easy and flow. That's why today I'm going to give you five conversation starters for attracting women. So without any further ado, let's get into it. First up, we have what I like to call the indirect opener. You know, on this channel, what we do is help you improve your confidence via compliments using the wonderful world of fragrance and commenting on someone's fragrance is a perfect way to start that conversation now I know what you're thinking yo B what if she's not wearing a fragrance have no fear don't worry about it sweetheart don't worry about it when you're out in public and you see that girl that you find attractive there is a 50% chance that she will be wearing a fragrance and a great way to do something like that in terms of this indirect approach is going to be in a public setting but ideally it's in a public setting where there are other people around let's say if we are in a grocery store line for checkout hopefully there's a few people in front of you otherwise you gotta be quick but a great way to do this you can say hey is that that you that smells so amazing and as I mentioned there's a 50% chance that she could be wearing a fragrance or she may not be and in the event that she is she may respond back with why yes it's such and such or oh I'm not sure I have on blah 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 and then you can begin to go from there all right if not you can say oh well what do you typically wear and that is a great way to start the conversation and to ensure that you are giving that indirect compliment ease intentions and being able to go in very smooth for that follow-up your second open up well that's pretty similar to the indirect one but you are being very intentional in terms of what you're speaking on in most cases people refer to this one as the prop opener in this instance you are commenting on something that is clearly in her possession these things could include but not be limited to her shirt her purse her shoes a drink that she has in hand or a dinner that she's being served a dinner that she's being served yes hear me clearly let's say you're out at a restaurant and you happen to go out by yourself in this situation you see a young lady sitting there by herself as well or she could be waiting for a group of friends if she has a drink you can say hey i'm new here that drink looks amazing what is it or if she's sitting down about to eat they're bringing out her food you say hey i'm new here i'm looking for a dish and that looks amazing those are the same things you can begin to start that conversation without being creepy in those situations you clearly want to ask more about whatever you're giving the compliment or bringing up that way the conversation sparks people like to hear themselves talk in this situation women are going to do so as well and if you're in an environment where things are moving a bit fast paced you have to make sure that you can keep up as well look i'm no dating expert but i believe that the these things should work and speaking of dating experts that's why I'm excited to bring you today's video sponsors the wing girl method yes the wing girl method was a company founded by dating expert and fellow youtuber Marnie your personal wing girl she's appeared on MTV dr. Drew Ask men and penthouse and boom her channel is blowing up quickly approaching 1 million subscribers and she's helping men all across the globe she's helped thousands of guys get the girls they want by using the sign based method of flirting called the F method. The F method is used by tens of thousands of guys across the world and you can be successful too. Even in the off chance that you think she's out of your league or she's just not into you, this method will help. Again, it's backed by science so you have proven step-by-step -step processes to ensure that you can escalate the conversation, get them to date you, sleep with you, or be with you as a partner. Now it doesn't matter if you're not the male model Fabio or the next Jeff Bezos with a billion dollars in the bank because with the F method, none of those things are needed. Apply this formula and get started immediately. I've had the opportunity to look into it and the F method is super simple, which is why it's worked for over 70,000 men. It's a step-by-step -step process with a unique 
flirting formula to help you date like you were in the top one to three percent of men. And because the Wing Girls Method is sponsoring today's video, they're hooking my subscribers up with an amazing deal. Just click on the first link in the description down below. You're going to get an exclusive preview of the F formula completely free. If you're single and not getting the success that you deserve with women, click on the link down below and get access now. Boom. So we're back with number three. And number three is a bit different, but it's going to work for you. And we talked about it a little bit, but this one is called the social opener. This one is going to work in a social setting and it's going to be where you are really introducing yourself being that you are meeting this person for the first time. If you're at a party, work function, er, let me let you know something here too. Being at a work function, you have to be super careful in terms of how you're interacting with people. Get the feel and go from there because you don't want anything to come up as being unprofessional. So be aware who you're talking to and maybe even save it only for for true social events. Now, you're just gonna walk up and say, hey, I'm, insert name, I don't think we've met. Right? In this situation, you provide the floor for her to introduce herself and she may be wondering like, hey, why am I the only one who doesn't know this guy? Or you can put yourself in a position to say, hey, this is a power play, you need to know me. The social opener works best when you are in social situations where people are around, i.e., again, if you are at a party where people may be, maybe not as much at a club, but at a party for sure where there's a select guest list. The fourth one I like to call the helpful opener, and this is going to work best if you're at a mall or even walking down the street. In a situation like this, you want to pose a question that the person could be helpful in answering and that can spark the conversation. I.e. if you're at a mall and you are seeing someone that you find to be attractive, you can say, hey, I'm looking for blank store. Do you know where it is? In this instance, they'll likely lower their guard a bit and be very helpful in terms of helping you get where you need to go because you didn't know where it was, right? But in this instance, when it does occur, they are also speaking to you and that provides you a little more opportunity to gather a bit more information from them to complete the next follow-up to that conversation. You could obviously thank them for helping you out, but also, hey, I detect the accent. Are you from here? Right? That's where you begin to get that conversation going and you can kind of navigate it into a one-on-one -on -one conversation that leads to what you're looking for. If you do this one, you're going to come off super smooth and I think both of you will leave happy with the interaction. And the fifth and final method that I have on my list today is going to be for those of you out there who are a little bit more skilled in this area and are looking to really get down to the point because you don't always have the time to probe and get into it. This one is the direct. You're going to come in completely opposite than the first one that we talked about. With the indirect, you're going to be direct and let her know exactly what you're looking for. You walk up, hey, I'm Buck. I thought you were beautiful. I know you're busy. When can I have the opportunity to meet you again? When you're taking this method, this is another one that you have to be super confident in your Yourself, you have to know exactly what you're going to say because if you walk up and fumble, it's going to be awkward. You're going to come off as nervous or scared and it's not going to go your way. So only take this approach if you're confident in your abilities to deliver a single sentence. Yes, you heard me. Deliver a single sentence because that's really all it takes to spark this conversation. Hopefully, you begin to use these openers in your day-to-day -day effective now. And again, be sure to take your game to that next level by hooking up with today's video sponsors, The Wing Girl Method. I'll have everything linked and listed down below for you so she can be your wing girl when you are out and about. That's all I have for you today. As always, I'm your boy, Big B B. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the goddamn bell.